It's Madden NFL 22 on EA Sports. And we've got a showdown in the NFC East. It's the reigning NFC champs and the Eagles on Thursday night. Just north of the Delaware Expressway and east of Broad Street, we find ourselves at Lincoln Financial Field in South Philly. Just a short time ago, these Philly fans in full war as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. Pyrotechnics ablaze. They're set to go as their Eagles will match up with Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you look at this Eagles team as they interplay here. They come in off a loss in the opener last week. And that one was on the road. Now they get their first taste here of home cooking. And what they're hoping to do is feed off the energy of the home crowd. Great tailgate, great fan support. Let's see if they can put it to good use. Meanwhile, for the visitors here, the Cowboys, they were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put it together in every phase. Good offense, good defense, and some key plays on special teams. Let's see if they can get that second win in a row. The final week into the summer. Hope you're enjoying it wherever you are as we are off and running on EA Sports. Now Ross to return. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Let's go, let's do this. Now we'll see what the right arm of Dak Prescott has in store as the Dallas Cowboys offense sets up shop. And he was terrific in the opener through three touchdown passes and make no mistake about it. He was eager to get right back out and do it again. So I think we'll see him try to test the secondary quite a bit as this game goes on. Here's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And he's got room. Ezekiel Elliott going to take it the distance. And he gets all the Here way go. down Here we go. the 30-yard line. Here we go. 49 yards rushing for him now to this point. And that one heck of a run right there. Once he got loose, you could tell that he was going to run a long way. That was pretty impressive. They'll run with Elliott. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. From the 27, Prescott. Nowhere to turn here. He's going to go down. Back at about the 37 yard line. That winds up pushing him back 11 yards on the sack. And that'll bring up third. Off the play fake, Prescott. Looking deep in the direction of Cooper. And this is caught on the sideline. But no, they'll say out of bounds. He caught it but was not in bounds. Incomplete. Zerline's kick is up and through. And the Cowboys are going to jump out to a 3-0 lead. Had just the one big play on the drive, but that was enough to put him in field goal range. Yeah, one big play of what they hope will be many others throughout the game. Every team has a different target for the number of plays like that, those explosives that we talk about. That allowed him to put points on the board on that drive. Let's see how the rest of the game goes. So now here comes the Eagles offense as they get ready to take over. And we get a glance here at their leader, the man who will be calling the plays under center. And what's a quarterback's best friend? Balance? I think you're right. <laughs> I agree with you. You know, a lot of guys would say great receiver, right? A terrific offensive line. But I agree with you, balance, because if you can run the ball effectively, that just opens things up for guys who want to throw it and gives you easier passing lanes and easier coverages to read. And they said balance will be a focus in this one. Yeah, they don't want it all just heaped on his shoulders, I don't believe. I think they want to make sure they take some of the pressure off. Set the now he'll look to throw here on second and ten. And he will go down. A Cowboys sack. I'm coming back. Terrell I'm coming Basham. Back. 
It'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop him. They'll look to throw. Airing it out deep for Smith. Oh, wide open, complete. Touchdown! We saw this plenty last year in college. He loved to take his shots downfield, and that throw, that was a thing to behold there. And you think on third down, they'd just be looking for something right beyond the sticks, and I think they caught the defense flat forward as a result because they decided they were going to take a shot right there, and it ended up being a big play. And that throw, amazingly, well over 70 yards in the air, according to Next Gen Stats. Wow. And now here's Ross. And up to about the 26-yard line, just go, across go, the 25. Go, go, go. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And they were winners in the season opener Sunday. Now they get the quick turnaround game here on Thursday night. But, CD, you say this is an ideal setup for them. Why? Well, it's just the way the schedule lines up because everyone's got to play a Thursday game, and that's because of competitive balance. So, let's face it, would you rather play week two when you're still relatively fresh and excited about the season? Or week 15 when you've had a season's worth of bumps and bruises to factor in? And who knows what your record might be at that time as well. Charles, Thursday night game, I think a lot of teams probably say shrink the playbook somewhat. Is that correct? I think you're right about that because you just don't have the amount of time that you have in a normal week to put in a full playbook. So as you said, you shrink the playbook, pick out the plays that work best for you. You know what else you're looking for? What's that? Who are the freshest guys coming off the last game to play on a Thursday night? Guys that have a little extra pep in their step, you go to them early and often. On play action, Prescott. And he finds his target, it's Schultz. And Let's down to the 20, Bring he'll go before heading out of bounds. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against him a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Elliott on first down, got to get this back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. Defensively, we always know that he is tough and run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. Oh, that kills them! Well, he was a busy man out of the backfield a week ago. They got the ball early and often. I have no doubt in my mind that he'll be a big part of the game plan here as well. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. And he will have the first down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. I like this focus there because he wasn't thinking about breaking that one big. All I thought about was, I need one. Let's go get that. Ended up picking up two. Throwing. Prescott. And he's got it. Touchdown, Cowboys. There we go. There we go. There we go. Amari Cooper. That's it, that's it. His third hey. touchdown now on the year. And the Cowboys have retaken the lead. Zerline good with a PAT. And the lead is now 10 to 7. So that drive goes eight plays. And it culminates in a Dallas touchdown. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. So back onto the field, here come the Eagles for their second drive. Losers in the season opener on Sunday. They get that quick turnaround 96 hours later. Here we go, they're back at it. And I've got to think, especially early in the year, that's a good thing for these guys, is it not? It absolutely is, and we've seen it many times demonstrated over the years. Teams have a rough opening game, have to play the Thursday game. That quick turnaround allows them to go ahead and throw the other game out, focus on the new one, and typically they play much better in game two, so I would agree with you totally on that. And the Cowboys pressure gets there this time for the sack. Don't get nervous. Call it a loss of five, a big sack to bring up third down. They'll look to throw here. 
toward the sideline. Did he keep their feet in? Yes, he got them both down, says the side judge. And that's good enough for a first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Flush to his right. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. A good gain on first, has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. Sanders here as they run out of the gun. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. No, boy. The numbers for Sanders last week. 19 carries, up over 130 yards and a touchdown. And now that he's playing a Thursday night game short week, you know he spent a lot of time in the trainer's room in the cold tub trying to get his legs back for this game. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. Well, this defense for the Cowboys, terrific last week in the season opening victory. And what I saw on film was a nearly unstoppable pass rush. Five sacks last week, plenty of hurries given up. So now what do you do on offense? You just match protect, keep everyone in and run the ball? Or maybe just one or two receiver routes in order to try and keep your quarterback upright? From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. There goes a deep ball, end zone. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. That one sails out of bounds. A side judge will walk it off. And he says it went out of bounds at the nine-yard line. Nice punt. So well done there. And these punters, they get more specialized and better each and every year, don't they? They sure do. And now it's really not the American punters. It's the Australian punters with their kicking academies and that flat drop and just kind of kicking the nose of the football. They're able to almost stop it where they want to like a good golfer can check one up. The 71 yards rushing for him now as he has gotten the night off to a hot start. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped That's at the it, 28. What that is? 10 what that 7 is? our right. score that after right. one right that here on EA Sports. Hey. Line of scrimmage, the 28 now as they come up on second and a couple. From the shotgun, a give to Elliott. And this is going to be a Cowboys first down as he'll take this up to about the 33-yard line. Of course, remember last week, week number one, quite the opener for him, NFC Offensive Player of the Week. He does not want to be a flash in the pan. He wants to have that type of a game each and every week to see if he can get a second award in week two of the season. This will be incomplete. Oh, a dream chance for a D lineman, but he couldn't pull that one in. A second down throw for Prescott. He'll find Lamb. That's complete. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Now back to the ground with Elliott. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. Well, someone's been having a good game so far. And you know something? Lob has been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. Power running by Zeke. And a good pick up there. He gets about six up to midfield. And when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. On second down, Elliott. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. The Cowboys on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. Here it's third and two. Prescott down. It'll hit the slant route. That's caught by Cooper. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 38-yard line. 
Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there. Yeah. Oh, it'll be intercepted. Darius Slay with a pick. Oh, the Eagles are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And they come into this one off the loss over the weekend. But you say if you're going to play a Thursday night game, this is the week to do it. It certainly is because you get right back the out there. You don't have time to dwell on things. And look, your game plan is going to be a little more limited, but so is theirs. So that's when you just appeal to your top players. Guys, you make plays in this one, we out-execute them, we can walk away with a win. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. They'll set up a throw. Toward the sideline. Did he keep the feet in? Yes, he got him both down, says the side judge. And that's good enough for a first down. They go play action here on first down. That is incomplete. He was looking for Miles Sanders out of the backfield. And now it's second down. Running right, here's Sanders. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Back to throw here. And that is incomplete. So it doesn't look like they're going to be able to build off the turnover. Well, the defense certainly did its part. It got them the football. But you're exactly right. It looks like they're going to have to punt this one away. And it's not a turnover. But doesn't it feel like one after grabbing the momentum with the defensive play? Yeah. And they had all that momentum after getting the football. And now zapped right back in the other direction. That's going to go in the books as a 55-yard punt. Well done. And the Cowboys will be backed up to start the drive. They'll have it first and 10. They'll start the drive with Elliott. And not much here as he'll get it to the 11, maybe the 12-yard line. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Looking to throw. Prescott. That one completes Elliott. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 11, he goes down. They wind up losing a couple there, so they go behind the original line of scrimmage. And now third and 11 coming up. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll see it's incomplete. They came up with points in their first two possessions, but it looks like they'll come up empty here on their third drive. The defense finally starting to get locked into them a little bit. Might have to go a little bit deeper into their playbook on their next possession. A big kick that time, 52 Let's yards. Go, Let's and go. the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. Now, early on, you know, Charles, every game could be called a measuring stick game. But I think when it comes within your division like this, it's a measuring stick game with a little extra intrigue. I would agree with that totally because all division games have a little extra to them. But I like where this game is situated because at this stage of the season, it has that little extra juice, but at the same time, it's not a major break in this world. Let's say week 15, 16, somewhere in that neighborhood. The Eagles on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and nine. They're going to look to throw. Open man is Goddard, the tight end. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. The Eagles send out their punter now as he's on to kick it away. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. Now this is fielded in the end zone. And right around the 20, he'll head out of bounds. That's it, baby. A minute 52 to play until halftime. 
Coming up at the half, a reminder, we go back to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman. He'll have a look back at our first half, as well as a look ahead to what's coming up later this weekend. Prescott's throw taken in by Cooper here. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now Prescott. Letting one fly deep for Cooper. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked by Ronnie Harrison. And the Eagles are going to take over a couple of yards shy of midfield. And now it looks like we've got a Cowboy shaking up down there on the field. The Eagles in good position to start out as they come up first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 48. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. And that throw behind his man, he missed him incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. And he will go down, a Cowboys sack. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as he'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. And some secondary help here for the defense in the nickel on third and long. Here's Sanders. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. That'll back him up two yards and also bring up fourth. The Eagles send out their punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Averaging over 50 yards of punt so far as this one's away. Ross on the return call that 49 yards on the punt. They do get seven back on the return. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And he finds some space past the 25 to the 27. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. They'll keep it on the ground again here. Pushes him over. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. Final play of the half, Prescott. Room to run past midfield. And he'll get this down to the 39-yard line. So we have reached halftime here with the visiting Cowboys out on top. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, we'll get back to you guys in a moment. But first, the NFL season is in full swing. Let's show the good folks what we've got in store for us later this weekend here in week two. In the one o'clock games, one that immediately catches the eye is in our nation's capital, a big test for the Washington football team as they'll take on the visiting Indianapolis Colts. More good stuff later in the afternoon, one being down in the desert, where it'll be the Cardinals at home in Glendale, taking on the Seattle Seahawks. And lastly, on Sunday night football, this will be one to tune in for as they've got a good one lined up between the San Francisco 49ers and the Tampa Bay Bucks. With that, let's take a look at the next-gen stats in that first half for the Cowboys. And it's been the running game that's pushed them to this halftime lead. Over 100 yards as a team in those first two quarters. Meanwhile, for the Eagles, the rushing numbers tell a different story. They really couldn't get a whole lot going on the ground. And the evidence? The numbers. Both these teams making their final halftime adjustments. We're just about ready to get back to football. So for the call of the second half, we get back up to Philadelphia and Brandon Gunn. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back to quarter number three. The Cowboys will get the football first here, and they have the lead as well as we are on our way in quarter Let's three. Go. Out comes this field general once more, leading his offense back onto the field. What can they do now, Charles, to make sure this highlight montage doesn't continue to show more pressure and pressure and pressure? 
you feel like it always comes back to leverage, don't you? Who is going to win that battle with offensive and defensive lines? Low man wins, we talk about that, but we think about it in a running game. Well, guess what? The same thing happens when you're trying to pass protect. Are you low? Are you balanced? Are you in a position where the pass rush won't bowl you over on their way back to the quarterback? They've got to reestablish that in order to try and keep their man upright. Because they have been bowled over a lot so far in this one. He's had trouble finding open receivers all game, CD, and that's because really there hasn't been many. This defense has been all over them. Yeah, they're one of the better defenses in the league, and every time I talk to someone around the NFL, they all say the exact same thing. They're so fundamentally sound, it's hard to execute against them. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And he's got his man. It's the tight end Goddard. And he's going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Again, he'll drop to throw. Over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Moore. Oh, yeah! A gain of six there on first. Second down at four. Shotgun snap and then the give to Sanders. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what'll be a third and four. He'll look to throw. Over the middle complete. That's Sanders. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. They'll drop to throw. And the Cowboys pressure gets there this time for the sack. Terrell Basham able to drop in that time for his second sack of the evening. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Now back to throw. Under pressure, they got him again. Micah Parsons. In there to drop him in sacks on first and second downs. Now leads to a third and long. So one quick, easy analysis about why they've struggled so far. They keep putting themselves in third and long situations. They just took another sack right there. And the offensive film session tomorrow may be a little longer than it normally is. <laughs> Not a lot of positive grades will be handed out thus far. And he's going to go down again. Demarcus up, Lawrence, his second sack oh, of the night. Well, collectively as a defense, Charles, I think if you get four sacks a game, you're feeling really good. Now they have six as a unit. And that type of a number, it's just staggering because there's so many ways to try and counteract it. But in this case, they've got no answers for this unrelenting pressure coming at their quarterback. Let's go, let's go. So a change of possession here on the punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 18. He'll hand it off to Elliott to begin the drive. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down Let's run. He gets maybe three. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big time play? Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. I think the best offenses love to get the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss. And they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. Well, we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. And he will Let's have go. a Cowboys Do first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. Another carry tonight for the workhorse Elliott. Room here to run. All oh, Zeke with a quick feat. 158 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. Ezekiel Elliott, a guy who considers himself underrated, has told his detractors to put some respect on his name. Hard not to respect a run like that. And that's why he's one of the best running backs in the game today because this run combined all the elements. Started with patience and he was just waiting for the right lane to materialize. Then once he saw it, he used his speed and escapability in tandem and turned this into a tremendous play. 
They keep on the ground with Allian. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. Good work, boys. Let's go. Great mix of play calling so far. Three runs, three passes. All three passes have been completions. First and goal. I think on defense now, you have to almost take a chance. Rely on your scouting. Pick a play you think they would run here and just load up for it and see what happens. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. On second and goal. Prescott steps away to his left. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Dak Prescott, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Cowboys will add on to their lead. Zerline connects on the extra point, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. So that drive in total eight plays. And it was all capped off by Dak Prescott, keeping it and taking it in on the touchdown run. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. They trail by 10, 17-7 as they come up on a first and 10. They start on the ground here at Sanders. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath. And he will go down. A Cowboys sack. Micah Parsons able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. Offensively, they're going to have to figure this out before next week. Seven sacks in one game. Yeah, and that's more than any quarterback should have to bear. And if this continues on, there will be another quarterback in the game because no one can stand up to this week after week. You got and that is incomplete. The pressure there on third down, forcing the errant pass. Fourth down coming up. But the passing windows are just not there. And that's just another example of how great this defense has been all game long. And that's exactly what a top 10 defense can do. They can really change the game tempo we and got frustrate this. you as you try to execute offensively. Dak Prescott of the offense heading back onto the field. He's been a good game manager. They're winning here in the third quarter, but really the ground game is where it's been at for them, hasn't it? So whatever the game plan was, you just got to focus on continuing to run the football. And really that takes the pressure off of the guy throwing it around. Doesn't have to be the focal point. Hand it off, let him chew up the yardage and big plays, and your team's winning. Boy, people upset. The fantasy guys who may have started him at quarterback in their leagues. And we'll see if they continue with the recipe of the ground game. Meanwhile, Dak's throw there caught by Gallup. They'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Prescott to throw it. Flushed out right. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. Come on, fellas. Looks to me, partner, like he's learned a little bit because earlier in the game, I think he was trying to force a lot of throws into his windows that just weren't open. Yeah, the interceptions had plagued him, especially a second interception, really a bad throw. So maybe a better decision there. Yeah, no doubt about it. I think he learned from earlier in the game, and he's applying it now. And he'll work it across go, midfield boy, inside the 45. 177 yards rushing for him now as his big night continues. Elliott. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final That's play it, of this third quarter. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. It's the Cowboys with the football. They'll be looking to tack onto their lead as we get set for the fourth. The last run got six, now second and four. A 20th carry here for Elliott. 
And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there. But how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. There we go. I think there's a fatigue factor that's kicking in defensively. You know the will is still strong, but I think the offense is starting to bend it just a little bit, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. To look that way, we'll see if they can continue this already strong drive. And intercepted, maybe the turning point they need. Darius Slay with a pick. And the Eagles are right Let's back in this football game. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Polluting the pressure right. He's got a first down past the 30. And he takes it all the way up to the 47. As a rookie quarterback, that's exactly how you endear yourself to your teammates. Give it up for the cause. It's also how you end up on the training table, too. Yeah, it's a catch-22. Coach doesn't like it. Teammates love it. Where do you fall on it? Well, I fall on wanting to endear yourself to your teammates, but pick your spots. Be smart about it. They need you for the full season. Yeah, the rookie's going to learn as he goes. And he's oh, got this down to the 35. Go. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Now a carry for Sanders, and he'll work this forward for about three at second down. And the trend continues here in the fourth like it was in the first, second, and third. He's had nowhere to run. And you're probably thinking to yourself, why do they keep feeding him the football? Well, they trust him first and foremost. They do believe that over time he might actually pop one of these runs. But the bottom line is he takes care of the ball well for them, so they'll keep handing it to him. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a hole. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Well, the other day they told us when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity missed there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. Well, he was a spectator for much of this game. This is his first field goal opportunity of the entire contest, but he's able to connect. Yeah, he had a pretty good seat to this one, didn't he? But let's face it, all kickers that you and I know, they want to contribute. They want their opportunity, and he seized his. Come on now, and let's go! And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They start on the ground with Elliott. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. On right, second down, Elliott once more. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. I thought that was a good call. Passing situation on second down. They hit him with the draw instead and pick up nice yardage. Yeah, because the draw, they're thinking pass when they see that initially defensively, right? Now, you know in today's NFL, most of the time on second and long when it's a passing situation, pass rushers are on the field. They're only thinking one thing, get to the quarterback. And oftentimes you can bypass him with a running play. And this is going to be a Cowboys Let's first go. down. Let's go. So get Let's this go. up to about the 42. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. They run here with Rico Dowdle. And across the midfield, stripe into Eagle territory. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. They run again with Dowdle. And some room to run now. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Let's go! 
but they didn't accomplish their goal. They didn't get a stop there, gave up another first down. They have all three timeouts in their pocket. I think defensively, you got to start thinking about using them here. I was just going to ask you at what point you think now's the go time? I think now's the go time. I don't think you sit back and wait because they can take a lot of time off the clock between plays and run three to four and really put you in a stressful spot. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Now, the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession, so they can't just sit on it running the ball. They have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. Yeah, not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. They follow up the gain of two with a gain of one that time. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now, I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're you, saying. You, you, if you, you call you. a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Okay, baby, okay. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. Prescott to throw. Buying time to his left. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Yeah. Dak Prescott with touchdown number three in the game and six on the year. And the Cowboys are looking to make it two straight as they add on to this fourth quarter lead. Zerline good with a PAT. And the lead now up to 14. A 10-play drive that time. And it was all capped off by Dak Prescott, keeping it and taking it in on the touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. There he is, the man taking the snaps under center, heading out for the next possession. And the stats on the screen tell the story. A great start. This defense, they made some good adjustments, so he's fallen off since. Have to like what they did at the half, but you also have to like the fact that they hung in there. Despite the fact that a tough first half, he was locked in, right? Rocking and rolling. They came out, made their adjustments, got their confidence back. Now they're causing him all sorts of trouble. He's going to let it fly. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Here's second and ten. Looking to throw. And the Cowboys pressure gets there this time for the sack. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. They'll look to throw here. Gets this to Moore. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Let's go. Working the sideline there. Good route, good catch. First down, and he gets out of bounds. They have to like the play call because you have to run some guys down the middle of the field to draw some of the defenders away. They can't just let them guard the sideline exclusively. That's how it's going to work. Sidelines and incompletions to use the clock. Pass complete. Got her. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. First down now, but that clock rolling. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Sanders. Counting down at 30 seconds remaining. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. He's going to drop this down to Sanders. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 14. The Eagles will take go, their third and final timeout. As the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. There's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. They'll look to throw again. A quick throw here, that's complete. 
And the Eagles are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. One final shot. They'll look to throw. And that will be incomplete. They were going for a consolation TD, but it was not to be. And time has run out now on this game. So this one will end in a victory for the Dallas Cowboys. And they were really helped by their defense, forcing three turnovers. I think what we saw in this one, today's defense. And what I mean by that is in the old days, pitching shutouts was big time. That was paramount. But the big thing was holding people down, holding down their yardage, right? Don't let them throw the ball through the air and gain a lot of... But now... It's about taking the ball away, taking away possessions, getting the ball back for their offense. They had three takeaways in this one, and it led them to victory. So for Dallas, it was a great all-around performance as they come out of this one with the victory. And they'll get a few extra days to savor this one before they take on the San Francisco 49ers. Meanwhile, for Philadelphia, they'll drop to 0-2, and they'll try to turn it around next week as they head to Atlanta for a matchup with the Falcons.